Pushing back is the opposite of allowing. When we want something, instead of pushing back, we have to allow it. If I look at what's happening in the U.S. just now, well, there's a lot of things happening in the U.S. just now, but most of it is resistance. It's the trigger for the resistance might be different for different people, but can you not see that all people with resistance are congregating, right? Everyone who is low on the emotional scale is being attracted here. And that is law of attraction in action. When you are so low down on the emotional scale and there is so much momentum to it, you can't help but act from there. Momentum translates into action, whether it's from a low place or a high place on the emotional scale. So important to understand this. Momentum is what results in action because you can't help yourself. It has so much force. And then some people look back and say, why did I ever do that? What propelled me to behave this way? What was that thing that took over? That thing that takes over is momentum. Initially, the momentum was from what happened, right? Um, not one year of momentum, but momentum or emotion of a whole group of people, huge group of people who soon as they think that the color of their skin is impacting their progress, their livelihood, their success, their joy, they drop down on the emotional scale. They might be on high on the emotional scale on a, a regular basis, but soon as you bring color up, they immediately drop down. Why? Well, because there's so much momentum to it. There's so much history. There's so much history. And that history is stirred up all the time. We celebrate Black Month. Why do we do that? There's nothing to be celebrated in a horrific past. Right? And, and so nobody is letting go of history. Nobody is letting go of history. And we know that if you keep focusing on the past, you keep bringing past into the future. So the future, in order for the future to be better than the past, you've got to let the past be in the past. It's gone. It's done. It has no impact. For heaven's sake, you had a black president. How would that be possible if, if the country was so against your the color of your skin? Hi, Kareen. Yes, I am also in my happy bubble, but from time to time, people ask me these questions and then, um, and then I let flow whatever flows. So, the point is that the point is, first of all, to understand what's going on at an energetic level, because what is going on at an energetic level is something we can all learn from. It demonstrates law of attraction perfectly. Everybody who is on a low vibration, whether they are black or not, are being attracted into this and they are acting together. It's just momentum. It's just momentum. The thing is, <clears throat> when you don't deal with momentum, with your thought, with your vibration, then momentum will come out as action. But the good thing about it is that once you act out from it, and of course that action does not lead to good results, we can see what's happening. Nothing good is coming out of it. Well, but that negative energy then is spent. And once that negative energy is spent, now you can cool down. And so this is ages of negative energy that is being spent, right? And, and, and that's a good thing because these people who are expending this negative energy, 
they don't know how to do the work to go up the emotional scale and nobody is inspiring them to do so right um there are people there who can inspire people who uh, to to stop acting the way they are to inspire them to take them up the emotional scale but it's just not happening see because once that car tra starts traveling downhill nobody can come in front of it it takes a lot of force to be able to stand in front of that car to stop it without yourself getting hurt so um from time to time in history someone comes along who has that power to stand in front of the moving car and make it come to a stop um and then those people go down in history books and it's okay all of it is okay i think that our job as allowers is to allow those people to be who they are it is our job to understand that they don't understand it's hear hear me again it is our job to understand that they don't understand and it's okay that they don't understand it is our job not to judge them but to send them love so instead of looking at what's going on and saying oh how horrible look at what is going on and say oh my god so much love is needed in the world because the absence of love is what is showing up and so we can do that we can love these people who don't understand because it's purely from a place of not understanding that they are doing what they are doing i have hope that this is going to turn into something beautiful when all of this negative energy is spent and it's gone and it's out of people's systems that what will emerge will be something beautiful and remind yourselves that all the people who are acting out just now are people who don't really understand law of attraction nobody taught them and it's not their fault it's never anyone's fault in fact these people who are acting out are so hurt they are so hurt their hearts are bleeding that they have become incapable of love in the moment they are incapable of love and they are confusing love with something that it is not because hate is the absence of love right but the stick the topic is love you pick up the topic you can pick up the topic from the point of view of having it or not having it and that's why they say there's such a fine line between love and hate because it's the same subject it's the same subject but it has two sides to it and and they are coming to it from here and they are coming to it from here because they just don't understand if if a child in your house breaks something precious by accident they didn't do it maliciously they were just running being their own happy self and something fell and broke do we blame the child no what we say is that child did not understand they don't understand right they didn't know they didn't know what they were doing and we let it go we forget about it we hug that child and what we say to the child is it's okay don't worry about it i still love you i still care for you it's okay don't worry and as a nation that is what is needed what what is needed is a lot more love a lot more love so much love that it can counter the absence of love which is going on just now right so beautiful people beautiful faces people who really want good things but they are all in a vibration of blame and we know where blame is on the emotional scale blame isn't even halfway up the emotional scale halfway up the emotional scale is worry blame is all the way down here 
it's one of the lowest vibrations there is. Because when you blame other people, that means I have no control. Whereas we know that that's never true. We always have complete control. We control what happens to us, right? And so our job, our job as people who understand more, our job as people who know, who can see what's going on through the lens of law of attraction, our job is to send so much love. And what does that mean? We don't have to focus on what's going on in order to send love. Pet your cat and send love. Take your dog for a walk and send love. Look at the tree and send love. It's about sending out huge, huge, huge quantities of love out into the world. Timing of this and the virus is not accident. Um, you see, the virus had already brought to the surface people who were in a vibration of fear. And so if you look at it from my point of view, fear is actually a lower vibration than blame. So this is in mass people going up the emotional scale from fear to blame. And a lot of them are actually going higher up because now they're stepping into anger and revenge, anger, and then revenge, right? And then from revenge, frustration and worry, and eventually to hope. And if we add our love to the mix, the journey from here to here will go a lot faster. Take care, have an absolutely fabulous day, and keep sending love. Bye for now.